Hello boys and girls, this is Science Elvis again, here to explain your lesson. Uh, you may have noticed that my hair looks pretty good today, I think it looks great. It's because I went out and bought one of those hair nets. I'm really happy with the results there. Yeah. Oh, let's get real, I look ridiculous. I look like one of the lunch ladies. But uh, I guess I'm going to have to wait till this quarantine is over so I can go and buy my hair gel and uh, keep those hair gel companies in business single-handedly. But uh, let's get right on to the lesson today. Uh, today is a mini quiz and it counts as the small uh, assessment in your grade, this uh, unit. Uh, you're supposed to find a news article about solar or wind. You can go to sciencedaily.com or one of the other science news sites to find that and uh, write, write a little summary and a 30 word reaction, just your opinion on it and what you think about it. Here are some fun facts about wind and solar power. Uh, windmills. Fun fact number one, uh, windmills have been used since 2000 BC. That was a long time ago. Uh, fun fact number two, one large turbine can power 600 homes. Hmm. Uh, fun fact number three, the first solar power station was built in Egypt in 1912. And I'm pretty sure there weren't any solar panels back then. They probably just heated up with water. And I know these facts are real because uh, I found them on the internet. So. You can take those to the bank. Oh, here's another postcard from Mr. Thomas. Uh, gotta try to figure out where he's at, don't we? Um, Dear Science Elvis, I'm having a great time here. The power goes off sometimes because the main power cable is underwater. Hmm. But my friends here say it's better now since the new cable was put in seven years ago. So uh, there are lots of things to do here. Like seeing the animals at Cheetah's, Cheetah's Rock? See you soon, Mr. Thomas. P.S. It's useless to try to find me. So tell the kids to just give up. Mwah ha ha. All right, well, I guess if we can't find them, we won't have any assignments on Monday. So uh, you guys uh, put your thinky caps on and let's figure this out. I'm just the science elvis. Teaching science and stuff I'm the science elders of love Not just any kind of love, but the love of science